Oh, hello, it's you again. Well, yes, I have in my hands yet another pneumatic Henry. This is a Henry Micro and another gap filled in my pneumatic collection. And the only reason I bought a Henry Micro is I have a feeling he is now discontinued. So if you want a Henry Micro, I suggest you get one pretty soon. You can still buy him online, still widely available, but he's no longer available from myhenry.com, the official suppliers of pneumatic machines. So if they've stopped selling him, I have a feeling that he's no longer being manufactured, but who knows, he may be. But I didn't want to take the risk, so I've got my very own Henry Micro. So let's undo the box and introduce him to my world. And what a strange world you've entered, Henry Micro. A house that's full to the brim of vacuum cleaners, not to mention two lofts and a garage, oh, and a storage unit. So you'll be in good company, Henry, and I've got an awful lot of your family to introduce you to. One day, I'll get you all together in the same room and you can have a good old chin wag. So here is Henry Micro. He's approved by the British Allergy Foundation. So if you suffer from allergies or asthma, Henry Micro could be the cleaner for you. There he is again, peekaboo, I see you. And on this side of the box, we see all the tools you get with this particular version the model, serial number, etc. Okay, without any further ado, let's get Henry out of the box. I don't think we're going to have any surprises inside this box here. This is a later model, it's not an old model. It will be up to the uh, standard specs. It's probably got the latest floor nozzle, which I'm not a fan of, to be honest. And I can understand why Pneumatic International have discontinued Henry Micro because you can buy Henry Allergy, which to my mind is a better bet than Henry Micro. He has even better filtration. So there didn't seem much point in having two high filtration Henrys. So if you want the latest filtration, get the Henry Allergy. Okay, so first out of the box, we've got, of course, the instruction book. Let's see what this is like. It's a standard affair. Lots of lovely pictures showing how to attach the face, although the face will be attached. Normally, the faces are fitted at the factory in Somerset. So there you go. That's the instructions. And next out of the box, this will be the small cleaning tools. Pretty standard. To most of the pneumatic range so oh dear we have a dusting brush that's having a bad hair day that's a shame oh I've never seen one I've never seen one as bad as that oh dearie me I think I'll soak that in some very hot water that should go back to normal that's the worst I've ever seen that's terrible isn't it <laughs> never mind we also have the crevice tool for your nooks and crannies the adapter piece that enables you to put the tools directly onto the hose end without using the curved handle. This is the brush that fits onto the upholstery nozzle. Again, slight bad hair day for that brush. And here is the upholstery nozzle. That's good for your stairs, curtains, upholstered furniture, car interior, etc. And you can slide the brush on. And it's a fairly stiff brush. It's not really a dusting brush. It's more to agitate, I think, than actually use as a duster. So your car mats, if they've got dried mud on them, you could give them a brush with that and then slide off the brush and pick up the loosened mud with the nozzle. So that's your three small standard tools. Yes, this is not keen yes this is the supplied carpet and hard floor nozzle this is a later design it's had a few incarnations over the past few years um, and I'm not, I'm not keen but anyway plastic base you've got litter pickers either side of the nozzle two small wheels at the back and you've got a foot operated pedal so press that down 
and a brush comes down at the front and a squeegee at the back. That's for cleaning hard floors. Brushes up for carpet and at the back you've also got the little bracket so you can slot it into the back of Henry. Then we have the hose of course which is wider at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end and you can use you can use it to clean with this end here you don't have to even attach anything you can just whip off the handle and use this angled end just to grab some dirt in the corner so there's the hose and we've got one two extension ones made of metal and the curved handle that incorporates little suction relief valve so you can reduce the suction by opening the valve. There's a plus and minus on here. So turn it to plus for closed for full suction and turn it in the direction of the minus for reduced suction. We do have one spare dust bag. I remember opening Henry's back in the day that would have had maybe four or five spares, but you only get one spare nowadays. There will be one fitted inside Henry Micro as well. And I think that's everything apart from the cleaner itself. I do apologize, I should have said himself, because as far as I know, the time of making this video, Henry Micro is a male vacuum cleaner. He's not transgendered just yet, he's still male. And of course we have the female Hetty. So out he comes. And we can see that Henry Micro is the full-sized version. Yes, there's nothing else left in his box. Let's remove the wrapping and we can introduce the world to my new Henry Micro. There you go, Henry. Welcome to my home. Here he is in all his red and black glory. No surprises. He looks just like a standard Henry, but he is housing inside under his hat an extra special filter which differentiates him from the standard Henry. You can buy him with a small turbo brush but of course you can go to myhenry.com and buy any additional tools for this including the Pro Kit which includes two turbo nozzles and a hard floor head and there are various other tool kits some specifically for the car, um, you can get extension hoses, extra long flexible uh, crevice tools, dusting brushes, all sorts and of course you can buy spare bags for your Henry Micro from myhenry.com. So yes, he's uh, pretty standard. As I say, this is the standard Henry, which 200 in the model number denotes the size. So a compact version would have 160 in the model number. If it's got 200 in the model number, it means it's a standard, traditional, full-sized Henry. It's still fairly light. In fact, I should get two of those and do some weight lifting, maybe bulk up a bit, ready for the beach. But anyway, a bit of fluff there. Has that come out of you, Henry? Let's have a closer look at you, shall we? Well, let's first reveal his inner secret. The secret that makes Henry Micro different. And that is, ooh, it is a bit different. He has a special micro filter. Now, they're not washable. It does say do not wash. I'm sure some people have washed these. But in my experience, if you use genuine pneumatic HEPA flow bags, this filter should stay relatively clean. You might have to brush it some, you know, brush it down occasionally, but it shouldn't need washing as long as you continue to use Henry with a bag. Officially, you shouldn't use Henry without a bag, but you can. It is possible to take the bag out and use Henry bagless, and many Henrys have been used bagless. But if he's used that way, the filtration will be reduced, and of course, you're going to have to clean the filter an awful lot to keep him operating efficiently. So that is the special micro filter. So I assume it's got additional layers of filtration to get him the uh, British Allergy Foundation seal of approval. But of course we do have the first filter, which is the HepaFlow bag. And we can just pull the bag off. When the bag's full and you want to change it, you can just close off the little flap take the full bag to the bin and replace it with a new one. There you go. If you've watched my videos for a while, 
You'll have seen the inside of a Henry, they all look much the same. And a little tip, I would say this, well, when you're emptying a very full Henry, I would always put him on his end like that. So when you're pulling the bag off, there's less chance of dust and dirt falling out of the bag. So we'll assume I've removed a full bag. You can put the new one in with the writing uppermost, it just pushes on to this bag support tube here. And it's got a nice little seal in the bag collar, but push it right on like so. And then we can pop the filter back in like that. Here's the motor unit of Henry Michael. Oh, do, do apologize, this knocked him. You keep out of harm's way there, Henry. So here's the underside, motor obviously under there. And around Henry's head or hat is this sort of rubberized finish. So it helps protect Henry and your furniture if you knock him into walls or your chairs, etc. And on the back, we have just a single speed motor with a green on off switch. And here is the mains on light. So when you plug in Henry Micro, that light will illuminate. Here's the rating sticker. So Henry Micro operates on 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. He has a 620 watt motor. The serial number is 21071283131. I believe that 21 means that this Henry was made in 2021. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, 07 is the week number. So he was made early, well, February 2021. The model is HVR 200M-11, Pneumatic International Limited, Chard England TA20 2GB, and he weighs eight kilograms. I'm sorry for giving your weight away there, Henry. I'm sure you don't mind. We're all friends here. Nobody will mock you. In fact, I'm pretty chunky myself. So we'll put Henry's head on. And on these later versions, because they incorporate this parking slot to put your main floor tool, it's got this little cutout bit here. So we must make sure he is lined up within a millimeter because if Henry's head slash hat isn't on correctly, people write in, you know, and complain. So once Henry is together, we can push these clips in. There we go. Got to be cruel to be kind, Henry. And now I should be able to lift him up from his built-in carry handle, which folds down. And then, of course, we've got Henry's cable rewind system so here's the plug just need to remove a little protection on his prongs and then we can pull out the extra long 10 meter cable what a long cable he has so we can plug him in now he is in the off position we don't want any surprises when we switch him on for the first time there we are so mains power is running into Henry, as you can see, there we go, from the red mains on light. That will stay illuminated at all times, as long as Henry's plugged in. So Henry, let's hear you speak for the first time. It's all right, viewers. I have got clean feet and brand new clean socks on. These are the Henry socks that Pneumatic kindly sent me way back when I uh, first unboxed the cordless Henry Quick, if you remember that video. So, uh, sorry about that, Henry, but yes, what? No, I know, fresh as a daisy. I don't have smelly feet, I never have done. Good job too. So we can attach your hose, can't we? You just push it on and twist until it's locked into position there we go and now Henry is ready with his long hose to seek out dirt in every corner of your home so as I said this little adapter here goes directly onto the hose end and then onto the adapter you can fit 
not just the small tools, but for if any reason you need to put the large head on, the large carpet and floor nozzle can also fit directly onto the end of the hose. But this is ideal for car cleaning, really, because for normal domestic use in your home, when you're cleaning carpets and hard floors, you would attach the curved handle. But for more com confined spaces, such as car, caravan, motorhome, whatever, or any tight spaces in your home, you, you can fit, as you can see, the nozzles directly using the adapter. So it just gives you a little bit more flexibility, especially under car seats, everywhere. You can connect your crevice tool, do all under the car, in between the front seats where your, your gear stick is, that's always a tricky place to clean. But with this configuration, it's easier. And as I said, you can buy a car clean kit from myhenry.com that consists of several other tools, including an extension hose that fits onto the end here. So you can extend the reach of the Henry, any model of Henry, Hetty, James, George, they all should fit existing pneumatic models. For normal use though, you would attach the curved handle. You can have it this way round or that way round. It depends on your preference. That way round helps you reach up to higher spaces. I think normally the carpet and floors, I normally have it that way round. And then of course you can pop your tubes on. A push and a slight twist will lock them into place. Sometimes too well. They can, after a bit of use, become a bit fused together. So you might have to have a strong friend to help you separate the tubes or just throw a bucket of water over it and they should separate on their own. Oh no, sorry, that's dogs. Probably won't work with a Henry. And then we can pop the, oh, just out of shot, because he's such a long boy, long tubes anyway, aren't you? Hey, eh? it's got long tubes. And then we can, you know, put him like this. This is nothing new to most of you who've watched my channel for a while. But there's some people who might have stumbled on this video by mistake and uh, it might be new to you. So if it is new to you, I'll show you Henry's other little party piece. We can put the tools on the back, the small tools anyway, and we can put all of them officially. You can put two, whichever two tools you use the most, but unofficially you can do a bit of piggybacking. So we can pop the adapter onto there like that. And if you want, well, I'm gonna to have to sort that out, look at that. But if you want, you can pop the dusting brush on top of the crevice tool. So you can carry all the tools around with you. So as you're pulling Henry along, cleaning your home, you need to do your stairs or your upholstery, or maybe, I don't know, inside your drawers, you're cleaning out your drawers. Spring cleaning time is on its way. So an ideal thing to do, and what I do to clean out my drawers, once you've taken all the rubbish out of them, you can use the crevice nozzle, get any bits and pieces out of the drawer, and then you could attach the dusting brush and just do the main area and you'll have, your drawers will be spick and span. And you can invite all your neighbors around and say, come and look at my drawers. They're the cleanest in all the land. And they will be if you've got a Henry to help you. And your air will be cleaner as well with Henry Micro because he has the extra special high filtration filter. So there he is. What more can I show you about this little vacuum? Well, we'll give him a push. I have to warn you, Henry does not like my carpet. Not a lot of vacuums do. And maybe this year, I'm gonna to have to replace this very expensive mistake for a carpet that is more suitable for more vacuums. But this particular pile of carpet, carpet Saxony plush, doesn't like a lot of cleaners, especially when I use them on maximum. So I'm gonna try pushing Henry Micro's head on maximum, but I might have to reduce the suction to make him easier to push using the suction control on the handle.
So as I predicted, this particular head fitted to Henry Micro and most of the domestic pneumatic lineup is hard to push on this type of carpet. I've used this head on the other carpets in my home, which are a shorter pile and it's fine even on maximum. But if you've got plush or longer pile carpets, you might have to consider another machine or possibly get a pneumatic that's got a turbo head. We'll give Henry a rest for a minute and park the carpet and floor nozzle on the back, like so. I thought I'd show you the Pro Kit that you can buy to fit the Henry Micro or most pneumatic machines, as long as they've got a 32 millimeter diameter wand, then this Pro Kit should fit. So Henry's or Hetty's from at least the past 20 odd years should fit this Pro Kit. In fact, any vacuum cleaner that uses 32 millimeter friction fit tools, um, this Pro Kit you should be able to use for that. Um, this is possibly an older box. The packaging for the newer versions is probably different, but I think the uh, nozzles are the same. So this can be added to give you increased versatility. So first thing we get in the Pro Kit is a dedicated hard floor brush. Of course, you can use this nozzle for carpets and hard floors, but if you've got wooden floors, delicate floors, or lots of flooring, you could use this soft brush attachment instead. Possibly better as well if you've got tiled floors or uneven floor, you might find that this particular nozzle is better with two rows of brushes and two little wheels at the side. And again, it's got the little parking slot, so you can park it on the back of Henry. You also get the AeroBrush 140, which is a small air-powered nozzle. So it has a little fan blades in here that are powered by the suction of the Henry. And then it rotates these brushes. So this smaller nozzle is ideal for your upholstery inside your car, pet bedding, cleaning your stairs, etc. So that increases the versatility of your Henry or Hetty or George or James or Charles. And then this is the Aero brush, full sized Aero brush. I think this should be the latest version. And again, this incorporates a little fan. I should be able to show you that. And then the fan is powered by the suction. And as the fan turns, it turns the rotating brushes. So if you've got lots of carpet, if you've got pets, then this is an ideal nozzle to use on carpeted floors. It's got two wheels at the back. And again, it's got the parking bracket, so you can park it at the back of Henry. It's got squeegee at the back. Two little roller wheels at the front. But it's also got some holes, as you can see. So it helps the nozzle not to bog down. Some turbo nozzles, especially on plusher pile carpet, can bog down and then they're not rotating. The air isn't flowing. And so if the air isn't flowing through the nozzle, then the brushes aren't rotating. So having holes here should hopefully keep the air flowing through the fan and keep the brushes turning. So I'm going to see if this aero brush is any better on this carpet and uh, that will be nearly the end of the video. Oh, one extra accessory that I've recently bought that I've not shown on my channel before is this multi-angle tool. It's a dusting brush and again all these tools are available from myhenry.com. I'm not affiliated with pneumatic so um, I don't get any commission if you buy anything. Just oh dear that's been in the box. That's got bad hair day as well. Look, can you see? Oh dear. That's been in the box a long time. I've had this a while. It'll soon go back to shape. I think, yeah, hot water, not boiling. Fairly hot water, just soaked for a little while. Should reinvigorate those brushes. But this is a multi-angle dusting tool and it's best used on the handle end. You can use it like this. In fact, if you put the handle the other way around, and well, if you attach the wands as well, when used like this, it's good for reaching tops of your kitchen cupboards or wardrobes in your bedroom or any high shelving. And you can angle it, as you can see. It goes into various different angles. But you can use it directly on the end of the hose as well. And just do your 
general dusting, all the flat surfaces that you might use a duster on, you can use this multi-angle tool. So that's quite a good tool to have, as you can see, it's very flexible. If you've got ceiling fans, lampshades, uh, you know, ceiling lampshades are high, you can't quite reach, attach the wands and you can brush off the dust and suck them into the dust bag. So that's just another tool, another example of the many accessories you can buy to fit your pneumatic machine. Okay, I'll finish the video just by testing the aero brush. I'm sure I've used this aero, aero brush on this carpet before when I've demonstrated previous pneumatic cleaners. And if you want to see more pneumatic cleaners, especially in action, I've done several mess tests. You can click on my pneumatic playlist on my channel and you'll see plenty of demonstrations. I'm not actually going to put some dirt down in this particular video, but check my back catalogue and you'll see plenty of Henry's and Hetty's and other pneumatic cleaners in action. Okay, so I fitted the aero brush and the aero brush works best when the suction is maximum so I'll just make sure that the suction control yes it is in the closed position it will add to the noise level they are quite noisy these air powered nozzles Even with the aero brush fitted, Henry Micro is a bit difficult to push on plush pile carpets. If however your home is carpeted with shorter pile carpeting, then I think you'll have less of an issue with the aero brush or the supplied carpet and floor nozzle. Well, there you go. That's the Henry Micro from Pneumatic International. If you want to adopt your very own Henry Micro, I suggest you do it fairly quickly because as I suspect, this machine is now discontinued, so stocks will start to run out, but there are plenty of places you can still buy this particular model, just not direct from myhenry.com. Personally though, if you want the best filtration in a Henry vacuum cleaner, I would look at the Henry Allergy. The Henry Allergy is the smaller 160 size, and he comes in a nice summer blue color. There's a full review and demonstration of Henry Allergy on my channel, so you can check out my pneumatic playlist and you'll find that demonstration along with many, many other demonstrations of Henry, James, Hetty, Charles, and many other pneumatic cleaners. So until the next time, it's goodbye from Henry Micro and goodbye from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.